Hey guys, it's Regent here. Today we're going to tame the Baryonyx. Let's start. So, first of all, the stats to knock out. You don't need many narcotics, especially for low level ones. It's pretty cheap. The best kibble is the blue kibble. Otherwise, you can use prime fish meat or normal fish. Um, it can be carried by everything bigger than a crystal wyvern. So, a crystal wyvern, a wyvern, a cats, or a rhino. It spawns on all maps except Scorched Earth. And the difficulty, I would say, is 2.5 out of 5 points. So, let's start. So, first of all, get him out of the water, so this won't happen to you. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, because he can stun you and grab you off your mount. So, first of all, we have to get him out of the water, and then the strateg first strategy is to just use a net gun. Like this, and now we can start knocking him out. Make sure that you don't do this for high level uh, baryonics like mine here right now, because you probably need too many narcotics, especially if you need uh, if you're gonna use a bow or a crossbow, because then the time will be not will will be too short to knock him out. So for low levels, like up to level 100, this should be fine. But everything above 100 could be risky on that one. So, this is strategy number two. We can just use a few bear traps. I've just placed five in a row here because then he will just run from bear trap to bear trap. You can also combine this with net guns, obviously, um, but five bear traps should be enough depending on, on the level again. You could just for safety place some more of them, but let's get Byronics very quick now. So there he is. Let's lure him into the traps. Oh, now the parasaur just went into one of our traps. Where is he? So now he should come. Let's go towards the traps here. Now we have only four left, but could be still enough. So now you can just start knocking him out. As I said, you could also, uh, if you see, oh, I don't have enough bear traps, you can just use uh, the net gun and to just, uh, yeah, to get some more time here. Or you just place some more of the bear traps. You can also combine this with a very simple trap. I'm gonna show you right now. So just take some dino gates here, four in a row like this. Put one door and at the entrance and one door at the exit here. And now you could use this and try to get him into here without um, without the bear traps. Or you can just place the bear traps. Where are they? There we go. Place one bear trap inside of here. Make sure that you can you you fit through at least one side here. And let's show you how to do it. Wait until the bear trap opens, obviously. So there we go. He's coming, and here we go. He's inside of the trap. And now just make sure to close the door very quickly. And now the baryonyx is stuck, and we can start knocking him out. Also, another cheap strategy is to use some billboards here. Just place them like I do here. And then we need the baryonyx and get him stuck in here. He can destroy wood. Uh, just so you know, you could potentially also use metal then instead. Um, but we're gonna use wood. Just for safety, we can put an, a bear trap in here again. You can also do it without a bear trap, but it's a bit more complicated, obviously, to get him stuck in there. But let's get a baryonyx. So we got one behind us right now. So let's get him in here. He's stuck now. And now just make sure to close this up here. Just be a bit quicker than I am here because he's getting free out of the bed really, really quickly. And there we go. And now we can also start knocking him out. If you want to be on the safe side, now he's not attacking the billboards. But um, yeah, you could also use metal billboards instead. And another simple strategy is just to use some uh, as normal 2x1 trap here. You can, I think a 1x1 one one should already be enough, but I'm gonna build a 1x2 now. Just in case, it's a bit easier if the trap is a bit bigger, so you can't jump over it. So this should be enough with the ramps and the door frames there. So let's get a baryonyx. So there we go, we have one behind us. And now just walk in here and get out quickly. And now he's also stuck in there. Now he's attacking our structures there, but this is no problem. He can't destroy the stone. And now you can start knocking him out. And the last strategy, probably the best one for late game, is to just grab one with a rhino, for example, like I do now. And get him into a taming box, like this one over there. 
Now just drop him in. There we go. Ah, uh, I missed now. There we go, and now he's also stuck in there, and you could start knocking him out. So, let's get to his abilities. First of all, he has a normal just a bite here, just his primary attack. Then on Crouch, he has the a small howl that's not affecting anything. This is just fully useless. Let me see the raptor here. He's not that bad, actually. And also you can use weapons while riding him. Also very nice if you want to tame uh, tame some creatures or knock out some creatures. And you can also go into the water. Do we have some fish here somewhere? There we go. And then you can press right but mouse button um, and stun smaller dinos in the water. This is also only working in the water, by the way. So that's already the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like and see you in my next video. Bye.